Hello and welcome to uh, the Seaside Allotment Channel. My name's Steve and yesterday I did a tour of the three allotments and today I thought I'd just do uh, a quick overview of what's happening in the back garden so uh, and on the windowsills. <laughs> so here we go. So we do already have a few potatoes in the ground. We've got some Aaron Pilot uh, in Jenny's shed and we've got some Pentland Javelin and Charlotte in the conservatory but most of the potatoes are still here and uh, they're chitting away nicely. Actually it's a pretty good area this for uh, chitting um, because we don't this we don't heat this bedroom it gets a fairly good amount of light and we leave the windows open to keep it nice and fresh and keeps it a bit cooler as well so uh, I'm pretty pleased with, uh, with those chits quite nice so we've got a nice variety of uh, potatoes here as well so the next batch to go in are those which are the swift and then we've got uh, lots more charlotte here and I think these are Pentland javelins there and some more charlottes here and some sarpamira here I know you don't really need to chit sarpamira but uh, there they are anyway and we've got some Aaron Pilot towards the end there and we've actually got quite a lot of um, main crops but they're not chitting they're just in the garage so there's a quick overview of the back garden uh, but before we go there we're going to look at some more windowsills so this is the windowsill where we start things off um, or most things anyway so we've got uh, shallots here and more shallots here there's a bun and these are all brassicas we've got some rab we've got some cabbage we've got some calabrese and some cauliflower and this windowsill doesn't get a lot of sun uh, but it's quite warm so it's just you know they just sit here uh, mostly out of the sun um, and warm until they germinate and as soon as they germinate they get moved onto one of the other windowsills. So this is the kitchen windowsill and this point southwest and so here as soon as we've got things germinating like we've got some shard here um, we've got some bolt hardy beetroot there um, we've got some kale here more kale, garlic chives which haven't germinated yet um, and some collard greens and say so this gets a lot more sun it's not a lot warmer but uh, I think things too warm at the moment they get a bit too laggy so uh, I prefer lots of light and not so much heat and we've also got some more windsills coming so up now we're in the conservatory and we've got some spinach, some rocket um, and some more spinach and lots more spinach and this is another southwest uh, southeast rather facing windowsill and things do reasonably well here although you know sometimes it is a little bit too warm I also have this big shelf up here and I often have stuff up there uh, but not on really really sunny days it gets a little bit too hot up there but uh, I often put tomatoes and things like that up there and then outside we've also got some grow lights but I've got nothing under the grow lights at the moment because it's too nice outside so the potatoes, early potatoes are outside at the moment um, and they're just coming through as you can see and they will be back in the conservatory overnight but whilst it's uh, such lovely weather um, yeah, might as well have them out when they're in the conservatory they, they sit on these big trays and this is my summer ceiling bench so basically this will be full of trays uh, all the way through late spring and summer and it just stands on little legs um, to keep the slugs off things um, and that's where I do most of my growing it's really sunny here 
and it's really sheltered in that corner so it works perfectly so I've got some raised beds there and there's nothing really uh, that's worth mentioning there's a bit of um, perpetual kale in the corner some carrots a bit of shard some golden beetroot uh, some strawberries that's about it and then these are my onions and leeks so I've got red barons here stew ones there um, the onions and then I've got some leeks at the back there and these are just going to be early leeks um, picked young baby leeks and then we've got more strawberries all the way across the back raspberries up against the wall and then all of these buckets, galvanised buckets, are all blueberries. We've got a massive collection of blueberries because we keep getting them free from magazines. And we've got more blueberries down here. And then a couple of gooseberries. Everything else is blueberries. And we've got a cherry tree there. And that is pretty much it for the back garden. Anybody who's seen my videos before now, I've also got lots of in um, in buckets, or not buckets, bins. I've also got grow lights, and that's where the onions will be later on tonight. But for now, they may as well be outside, enjoying themselves in the sun, like me. And that is pretty much it but just for completeness we'll just have a quick look at all of the cherry trees down there and a quick look in the store so where uh, our stocks are rapidly depleting we've got a few onions left a few shallots a few more onions lots and lots of lovely beetroot which is growing very nicely in its wood chips and they're in lovely condition all these beetroot um, got a few more in here golden beetroot and some more beetroot there and I'll just take out a golden beetroot just to show you what they're like there you go lovely stuff they like it in these slightly damp wood shed bins really easy to pick we have now finished all of our apples and we've just got in here a few bags of potatoes easily enough to see us through to the new potatoes <laughs> and we did have mice but uh, we're about to, uh, we haven't had any uh, in the traps for well over a week now, so I think they've all gone. And the freezer's still pretty well stocked. So I think that is pretty much it. Um, not much going on at the moment in the back garden, but uh, much more going on in the allotment. And did a tour of the allotment yesterday, so uh, take a look at that if you're interested. And other than that, I'll see you soon.